everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Rosie and I am just today about to set off to Cambridge to start my new full-time job in archaeological research this little vlog is going to be my moving vlog and then how I'm navigating my first week I don't actually start full-time in person until the 3rd of May so I've got a whole week of part-time work online to try and get used to the city and I'm going to bring you along with me I hope you enjoy Take my hand and hold it tight First of all, I need to take all of this stuff downstairs So, that is task one, and then I'm going to have breakfast Right, I'm nearly all packed up. I've had my breakfast, made my packed lunch, and I have an embarrassing amount of stuff in this van. Are you ready? Wait, how do you even do it? <laughs> oh my god. Why can't I open the door? Let's try again. Hard luck, Dave. Always knew you were a bit weak. Well, we'll go this way. Here we are clothes and that that's my sewing machine food this is like just my bedside table so it's got electricals medical stuff and stationery my folders all my notepads and a load of books obviously my bike there my ring light my tripod some more random clothes and shoes and then there's more stuff in the cupboards as well but I obviously can't get in there because there's too much stuff in here I'm a bit overwhelmed I can't lie a bit overwhelmed. Oh, okay. I need to get my final stuff together because we're leaving in 15 minutes. I've basically just been doing a load of admin this morning. It is 10.30 now, so I need to stop and actually have some breakfast and start doing all of my actual work work. Moving is a lot. Hi, baby. You're so gorgeous. So, I have got four hours of work to do. Probably a bit more, five hours in total, but I've already done like 45 minutes work so i'm gonna set a one hour tree on forest just because it means that in total i can actually see that i've definitely done all of my hours it just allows me to really block my time a lot easier first thing i'm gonna do is continue making a social media post out of a new paper that's just come out it is this paper go and read it now i've already sent some emails i need to send some more emails i need to check that other emails have actually sent because they had attachments and they keep bouncing back. Right, okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's set a tree. It's about 2.45 now, and I have actually ticked off about maybe five things from my to-do list. I've sent a lot of emails, filled in some forms, sorted some stuff out. It's going well, it's going well. I've actually done two hours. I decided to just keep going after that first hour. I've had some Easter egg. Gym membership secured. It's 8pm. I was gonna go for a walk, but then I didn't go for a walk. I just fed the cats, made tea, and had a shower, and now I'm watching Heartstopper for the second time because I love it so much. <laughs> I'll watch a few episodes, I think, and then if I feel like it, I'll do some editing because I have got some fun videos to edit, but otherwise, I'm gonna see you in the morning when I have a body pump class. Tuesday. I'm currently just wandering into the town centre, ready 
need to go to the gym but like well ahead of time and I haven't done this by myself yet so I was gonna cycle but I have not really any idea where I'm going yet so I thought it would be better to just do the walk first and then I could always stop in town take some pictures and things and just see how it goes I've done a couple of hours work this morning already and then obviously I need to do more when I get home but I've also set up a flat viewing for tomorrow which is exciting <laughs> and I'll keep you updated I don't know what I would do if I heard your voice across the room at some party in some house with music that's way too loud. I've made it to the gym, although I am 40 minutes early, which is a little bit embarrassing because I thought it would take longer. So I think what I'm gonna do is just have a little wander around the area and just see because it's in a shopping center as well. And I also need to find where the bike stands are for when I come on my bike. Another one, thank you. 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 You get the idea. Can we take some time? So we can talk until the birds wake up, fill up each other's empty cups, share stories from our lives. From when we said goodbye, we could try to find. I'm back, I made it and I didn't get lost again and I also got greeted by the cats on my entrance so that made me feel great about myself. I'm gonna have a shower now because I feel gross and then I'm gonna get ready for my Spanish class. Oh hi cat, hello, hola, hola, como te llamas? I'm learning. I'm on a coffee break right now, halfway through the class, and I have to do a task. I think it's going well. <laughs> Good morning. It's Wednesday. I feel like even though I'm working, I'm losing track of what day it is. And it's mostly because I put the wrong dates on my weekly planner, which you probably saw. This morning, I'm working just from my room. Right, it's flat viewing time. Let's go. I don't want to be late. Two hours later. Hello, I'm back from my house viewing. It was, it wasn't a house, it was a flat. Three flats, actually. I was thr thrown. I have actually got a parcel to open from a lovely small business called Celestial Gift. So this is their Instagram page. And Adam, who runs the page, messaged me to ask if he could send me some of his jewellery and obviously I said yes because it was absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna have a look now, I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, if you go and follow them, I also have a 20% off code which I will put on the screen now so if you want to go and buy some of your own jewellery from this shop, which I would recommend you do. Look, adorable little earrings. They will go perfectly, actually, with my ball dress that I'm wearing this weekend. As will this gorgeous ring, look at that! Oh my god, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. morning happy thursday i've got quite an exciting day today because amongst all of my work i'm also meeting a friend that i went on a dig with in the past his name is james he's in this vlog from when i went to spain we're going for a walk with the early career researchers and the postdocs he's a phd student around the botanic gardens it, it's like a nice breaker sort of event for the start of term because a lot of the the researchers haven't been in yet this year for field work or because of covid so everyone's getting to know each other and then i have a seminar so it's a busy day but i'm excited about it Woke up wanting you beside me i don't know what else to say Ain't no particular reason 
just hit by a wave Maybe I'll grab a cup of coffee Okay, that was genuinely lovely. Such a nice little walk. Nice to meet James. I love this place. I'm gonna be here so often. I'm not gonna lie, it's so much better than the Botanic Gardens in Oxford. It's absolutely massive. It's so big and beautiful and quiet and there's Wi-Fi and a cafe. It's gonna be detrimental to my bank balance, but I don't care because my mental health will be 10 out of 10. <laughs> right now I'm gonna find my way out to the front and I'm gonna go back back home so that I can have my meeting and also have some lunch because I kind of neglected that. Of different scales of research and community engagement through a focus on place, epistemologies, resources and community. On the Friday I went to work in a cafe called Thrive. It's a vegan cafe in Cambridge and it's my absolute favourite cafe in Cambridge as well. It's such a nice workspace and you can just sit there for ages. I mean, obviously, you have to buy stuff, but such a nice atmosphere, free Wi-Fi, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I was doing research here as well, into the concept of luxury for an essay that I was writing. Maybe I'll grab a cup of coffee and listen to a favourite song. Happy Saturday! It's my first weekend in Cambridge alone. <laughs> Obviously, I arrived last weekend, but it's my first actual weekend. I'm now going to meet Savannah, who is a master's student at Maudlin, and she. I'm pretty sure does maths, or at least her YouTube channel, when she worked with the study tube project, that's how I know her, was a maths channel and she was at Nottingham. We're gonna go get crepes at Crepe Affair and they do loads of vegan ones so I'm so excited and then we're gonna take some pictures. I've got the ring on today and then I'm gonna go to the gym and it'll be lovely. I decided to take an impromptu trip to the Castle Mount. It's very similar to the one in Oxford, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's just beautiful. So quiet. I like your outfit a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Like, look how much lower the, the floor used to be. 